hello there and welcome to my podcast um yes this is not a podcast that's true but one day i'd like to have a podcast because i think that that would be really fun and a lot of people would enjoy it um i hope your day is going well mine is pretty all right can't complain when you're alive breathing and the sun is shining yes um i'm inside of a car and I just wanted to get a message out today to everyone. (laughs) I wanted to say that being you is all right. It is actually what a lot of people envy. And some people are so themselves that, you know, you think, oh my gosh, how is that person so much themselves? Like, I wish I could be that way. And then you take a look at yourself and you're like, oh, you try to find all the things about you that you don't like. And I think that that is very unhealthy. Don't do that. Um, The only way to become more yourself is to actually maybe realize those things that you're looking at about yourself and thinking, oh, I don't like that about me. That is what makes you you and that is what you should own. Own it. Don't freaking try to hide it. (laughs) Just be you and unapologetically, you know, that quote that everyone uses. It's like, be you unapologetically and it is so true. Because once you start doing that, you'll find out that who cares if someone thinks you're weird or crazy, like, who cares? It's your life. Live your life and be happy because we get one chance, you know, like that song Eminem does. You got one shot, not give up. (laughs) And just, yeah, own yourself, Uh, own who you are because when you stop doing that, you're allowing other people to dictate how you are living. And I don't care how old you are, you know, this has been something I've struggled with in the past and I'm just recently, as the new year's coming up, I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna be me, like no matter what and do what I need to do to make myself and like the world better because that is what really matters in this life is once you start to own your heart and like realize your heart is like the only thing that you're going to ever need to follow or even take any advice from, it's just your heart, you know? Any, like, advice you take, it's reflections of, you know, maybe, okay, drink more water. That's a good one (laughs) for anyone. Just make sure you're doing it safely. Don't over drink water. (laughs) Okay, that was a joke. Um, But just know that you are your only compass. You're your compass. Yeah, you could say, all right, somebody else's compass is going this way, right? But then you just gotta remember (laughs) that if your compass tells you to go this direction, follow that instinct because that is your compass. You don't need to follow theirs. What if their compass is a little bit wonkier compared to how yours is and where you wanna end up? Just, yeah. (laughs) And don't forget to breathe because breathing is probably one of the most underrated things that this life really ever emphasizes. We say, oh, do this, sleep better with these mattresses and all this stuff. And it's really just like, No, just breathe better. Like, just breathe. I do four counts. One, two, three, four. Hold it for like maybe three or four seconds. And then let it out for four seconds. And then you just will notice how much better you feel. Like, I just felt a little bit high from that. And, (laughs) you know, it's like natural high. And it doesn't matter where you are. It's best to be outside. But the more you do it consciously and realize, like, one, two, three, four. Hold it. And then you... You just feel the life inside of you. And you feel your life coming out. And I talked about how I have epilepsy before. And that is one of those things that my brain shuts off that power to do that when I'm, like having a seizure and a lot of other people with epilepsy and so I sort of sometimes have taken it for granted like the power of breathing and that could not I cannot stress that enough that breathing is honestly the number one thing that will keep you happy it will keep you healthy and it will make you more conscious and more aware in this life and smile at strangers because you never know if somebody's going through a really bad day and your smile could keep them from healing themselves potentially, you know what I'm saying? Like, just spread your love because love is the only way to ever get anywhere on this planet and not be, you know, (laughs) 
see, I sometimes just, I get joy out of just smiling at people because I know that I'm giving them my love and unre unregarded, un you know, protected, like, okay, there's boundaries with love, you know, you don't want to go up and make out with a stranger because obviously you don't know if that's what they want, but smiling, it's a universal sign of, hello, I'm happy, I'm happy to make you happy. <laughs> And they'll pick up on that and even if they're in a, a crappy mood or whatever they will still be like you know what that person's happy maybe I should be a little and let's all be happy together you know maybe I can go talk to them and we can have like uh, conversations about things that we enjoy and yeah <sighs> I just wanted to get that message out there today just so if you're having a bad day or anything It'll end, okay? Tomorrow will come and you have another chance or even maybe in the next moment, you might just be a lot happier. You never know. Just as soon as you feel like giving up, that's usually the point when the universe, God, whoever you are, yourself, you will tell yourself, enough of this bull crap. I'm sick and tired of being upset, you know? I'm going to just let things go. I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens. And that's usually when you start to become more happy. Because if you get upset about every little thing that happens to you, you know, it's because you care. It's because you care so much. And I used to be like that. I used to care so much that anything that happened to me, I would get ruffled up about it. My feathers would get ruffled. I'd be upset. And once I stopped doing that, I would just let life happen and just, like, decide what happened. You know, maybe I didn't care so much about stuff that wasn't important. Like, uh, okay, I dropped a piece of food on the floor. Oh. But look at that, it's food. How can I get mad about like dropping food on the floor? Like a lot of people don't even have that opportunity. So I know not like uh, not accepting your problems uh, is not a good idea because that makes you feel even worse. It makes you feel like your feelings aren't valid. You can accept them, okay? Accept that that thing happened and it was terrible for you and it didn't work out. But then realize there's still more bread. I can still make more toast, you know what I'm saying? So just, yeah. Be happy and smile more because psychologically, I'm pretty sure scientifically, it actually boosts your mood. Like, you could see your ears go up. Wait, is it moving? Okay, well, my, my ears could wiggle a little bit. But when you smile, they go up and it re um, releases oxytocin into your brain, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, and then just breathe and smile. And I don't know if you can breathe in while you're smiling. I read something the other day that, you know said that might not be possible to breathe in while you're smiling but we did it <laughs> so don't believe everything you read um all right i just wanted to say that and please have a beautiful day because it is a beautiful day we're live on this rotating ball